Alright, back once more. Like usual. We are debating more and more about this game. Um, as for the background, I think what I'm probably going to end up doing is taking, uh, probably taking, like, some, uh, picture sample with, like, a camera or something outside the house. I'd probably, like, uh, go outside and probably take, like, pictures of, like, the ground, different, like, pavements and such. And, you know, grass textures and whatnot, and somehow utilize that for our background. Um, I'm not sure how, how exactly well that would turn out. Um, real world versus, um, sprite imagery. But, I'm sure we'll find a way. So, um, we don't actually have, um, arrows, but yet we have an arrow gauge. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to make different instances of the player. Um, different instances of the player, oops, um, holding these items. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, uh, one, because this is our first instance that we'll have for him. Let's see. Wait, back. Okay. Alright. And I suppose we can just add another folder, call it, <coughs> name it system. So, let's go ahead. Alright, gauge controller one, gauge controller two. And I actually realized that there's no reason to even have, um, the filler objects. I, I must have been, like, really tired at that point in time, but to, I guess I'll keep it, because sometimes, um, if you have too many systems running at once, some of it will stall. So having that filler item will give it, um, system processing time. Uh, to recognize the command and execute it throughout the rooms that we go through. And that's what you want, right? A nice, smooth, very smooth gameplay here, so. Alright. So what else we do we want, really? Like, I don't know, I guess we could have a sword, but... I don't know. Really prefer not to have... A hmm, any kind of melee attack really? Like when you really think about it, you know this game. Like what we have the keys, we have the potions, the randomly locked doors. These guys. We have water that you can't swim in, yet if at all. Um. Like, this basically is like a Zelda-like game, except odd, like, look at this, this is, what, random key, we got our potions, random gauges, of course, like, this is very similar to that one enemy that, uh, practically does this, uh, same thing, except it waits for you to actually pass by, and then it attacks, um, before we didn't even have this thing spinning, but um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what we actually want in our game. Like, do we want it to just be like we'll obviously probably keep this background here for tutorial levels? I already said that in a previous episode, but um, we will definitely have to go out and find textures. And of course we have uh, different elemental factors for our levels, which means we'll have to change some of the sprites, like such as like blocks and such. Like say that we're in like a snowy region or like a frozen region, these blocks will have like a tint of blue and have like some ice on them. Um, same thing with a uh, magma. 
sort of deal here. We have uh, the red blocks and uh, basically, you know, some features to add and add complementary image to the overall zone. Take some good tasting potion. Can't get enough of that stuff. Actually, let's go ahead and set our uh, health cap. I don't know why. I don't know why we haven't done that already. Um, yeah, let's go and do that then. So what? Um, yeah, this will be a constant check. So, yeah. So what if? Oops. Wrong check. We want this check. All right. So if variable h. Oops. HP is larger than 100. Set equal to 100. Because we do not want the health going past 100. So we have that. And then, same thing here, just kind of, oops, if it's smaller than zero, set equal to zero, because we'll have the consequence of death set to zero. And again, we could actually set it, um, the consequence equal to and below zero, but what's the point? Like we have both checks either way. One's just uh, one is merely sitting it differently. So we'll go ahead and add our whatnots in here, our arrows to dictate the beginning and end of each step. So yeah, really want to do some music today with uh, this game. I was actually working on some music like throughout the week. Kept going downstairs um, every now and then. I was like, okay, yeah. Came up with some pretty adequate tunes for this game, you know. Nothing too big, but nothing... I don't know, like... I liked it. Guess something. <laughs> I guess it's not really saying much, you know, me being the one playing it. I liked it, but yeah, that's that's not really saying much, but I don't know. I wouldn't say that it's bad. Um I won't say that it's the best. But this is a small game, so you can't really have music that's, you know, too dramatic cuz basically, if you have quality of anything that is is above or below at par with anything else that you have. So say you have like the best sprites ever, like HD sprites, but you have crappy music, well, you know, how will that, like if you have like crappy music, first of all, then kind of ruins the game, you know, sort of, like you're looking at the music, like, oh yeah, this is awesome, but you play the game and it's like not even close to the amount of awesome that you would expect to come from the game just from hearing the music, and vice versa, if the game is like a little indie game, it's like, okay, this is cool, but the music is just, I don't know, like some times it has a negative and a positive effect. I've seen games where they're like, oh, this is very, this is a very small game, but yet the music is just awesome. And it actually will enhance the game. Eh. I guess it can work both ways, but it's whatever. It really is whatever. Like, for the most part, 
you can't really judge someone, you know, it's like, oh, you, <laughs> like, whenever you make a indie game, especially when it's by yourself, it's one of the, I won't say hardest things to do, but it's more, it becomes very tedious, you have to do everything, because, you know, most games like this, very, very professional back in the day, and for the most part, they had like a team, team of people working on games like these, even if they're that simple to make. Um, for the most part, indie game makers will typically make everything themselves, art design, story, um, any sort of concept that you would consider a team to divide the work among. Uh, man, um, wait, oops. You would, you would expect the team to divide the work load, which would increase productivity and keep the quality about the same throughout the entire game. Well, if you have an indie game maker and he's just sitting there doing everything himself, of course, he'll lack skill in something. Not everything will be at par with each other, because he has more... Um... It's going to take damage here. Okay, so our health should be set to zero, even though we're taking continuous damage. So whenever we gain potion power here, we should be able to bring back health. Yep. Awesome. So the caps that we um that we just applied work. Which I wasn't expecting them not to work. If they didn't work just now then we'd have a problem. Um setting caps is a very easy variable to uh, do and deal with, so, but, I don't know, like, really want to do the music today, can't, have too much stuff to do, and as I said, in the life of casual guy, 86, um, these LPs are just a side thing, uh, as I said, I try to upload two a day, um, Sorry that I'm unable to actually do that all the time, simply because of the unforgiving schedule, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's not that bad, like, no one's really, at this point, you know, what, my channel's only been up for about a week and a half now, if that. So I'm sure no one's really crawling at this point, so that's a uh, good thing, I suppose. But anyway, probably next week or so, we'll start it, uh, we'll get started on the music. Probably. Um, unless I find something cooler that we could uh, probably work on for the music, but of course, the music just sort of adds to the game itself, and you get other ideas for the game while you're listening to it, um, being played during, like, level testing and such, so, I don't know, it really just <laughs> depends on what we want. So, yeah, we've set the health cap, man, that was a very, very empty episode, but, uh, I guess it's not all that bad. Um, setting caps is supposed to be a boring thing anyway, so, guess I'll see you guys next time, once again, thanks for watching, and I, I, I screwed something up here, <laughs> but that will be fixed, so, um, I will see you guys later, um, and again, I'll be posting more next week, see ya.